Some of the reality TV star's followers think the mum of four has used generative artificial intelligence technology to create her new commercial. Promoting her brand's new mobile app, Kim appears in the video as she introduces the launch. I'm so excited about our new Skims app, she appears to say, but some think the person appearing in the clip isn't Kim at all. Sparking theories, her team has used an eye avatar to replicate Kim's voice, body, and mannerisms to create the short presentation. I swear this is a voiceover, one follower commented, while someone else replied yes. Her voice sounds different. Another added, not only voiceover, the whole avatar is AI. While a fourth said absolutely. Time is money and she's not taking the time to sit there and do a voice over at this point in her life lol. We can't seriously think this is Kim K and not AI. Another said. But others think it might actually be Kim with one saying. I thought that too until I heard the harsh rasp on get started at the end. Someone else commented. I think it's actually Kim. You can hear the echo if you turn it up loud enough. While another concluded, it's so weird when a person can't tell the difference between a real voice and a robotic voice, has contacted Kim's representatives for comment. It's not the first time she's landed in hot water over an adver in recent weeks. Earlier this month, she came under fire from her fans after she posed in a series of images outside a Starbucks coffee shop. Kim was seen showing off her toned figure in a pair of leather flared trousers and a skin-tight white crop top without a bra as she stood beside her Tesla Cybertruck in the parking lot of the restaurant. She wore her trademark dark hair down in tussle waves and carried a simple black tote bag in one hand for the commercial snaps. Kim, who captioned the post writing, I'll be your shotgun rider till the day I die, sparked anger from some of her fans. They took to the post's comments section to slam her for editing the photos and for seemingly staging an advert for Starbuck. The series Calabasas has been acquired by Netflix, with executive producers including Kim Kardashian, Emma Roberts, and Pretty Little Liars creator I, Marlene King, according to Variety. The series is reportedly based on the book If You Lived Here You'd Be Famous By Now by Via Bleibner. The upcoming series follows a sheltered Catholic schoolgirl, who is navigating her way through unfamiliar territory when she transfers to Calabasas High. King will be writing the series and also serving as showrunner. Kardashian is serving as an executive producer alongside King and her partner Lauren Wagner through Long Lake Media. The project is currently in development at Netflix. Calabasas marks a reunion for Kardashian and Roberts, who previously collaborated on parts one and two of American Horror Story, Delicate. As a resident of Calabasas herself, Kardashian is no stranger to the city, which has been featured in reality series such as The Kardashians and Hulu's The Kardashians. Apart from the Calabasas series, Netflix also acquired the Kardashian-led comedy The Fifth Wheel last year. In addition to developing and executive producing the popular teenage drama series Pretty Little Liars, King has also written and executive produced the spin-off series Ravenswood and PLL The Perfectionists. She currently serves as an executive producer on PLL, Original Sin, which is set to release its second season on May 8 on Max. Kim Kardashian would not react to Taylor Swift's diss track Thank You Amy because she has reportedly moved on from their years-long feud. For the unverse, the globally known musician released her much-awaited 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, on Friday, April 19. One of Swift's tracks, Thank You, Amy, leaves her fans guessing that it is aimed at the Skims founder as the letters K, I, and M are capitalized in the title of the song. However, now a source shared with Life & Style that the reality TV star might prefer to remain silent over the latest controversy. It is pertinent to mention here that the two ladies first sparked woes over an audio recording when Kim's ex-husband, Kanye West, inappropriately used Swift's name in his song, Famous. Speaking of the incident, an insider shared, Kim probably does have regrets about lying about the editing of the now-famous video, but it's fair to say that was caught up in the whole Kenny aspect of it. The source further stated, she was basically protecting her man. I'm sure Kim could clear up what really happened and why she did what she did, but I don't think she wants to revisit that particular situation. The report suggested that the socialite would not open up a whole new can of worms and she's truly moved on.